We call it the Heartbreak Hotel because everyone that goes through a breakup moves in with me and my boyfriend. <laughs> me and my boyfriend came to view it and it was in flats and it was like really 80s, like disgusting pattern carpet and it was just an absolute mess and we were like, it's perfect. <laughs> My boyfriend took me to Venice and there was like an old hairdresser's and it was just so amazing, like the trazzo floor, brass everywhere, uh, fabric walls and everything like clicked into place just from seeing this one tiny hairdresser's. I was like, I'm going to do the whole house on that. I put these monstrosity in. I just love 70s fireplaces and it feels like really Americana. Um, and it's kind of disgusting. My favourite thing is this sofa. This is like £200. Look how perfect it fits. There's a real sense of community in Margate and everyone's starting new businesses and new ventures. You'll be swimming in the sea like swim past your neighbour. It's kind of creepy colours but I wanted something like really calm, like a really posh old lady. I have 18 pets and it just escalated. I did a taxidermy course. Your next brand. <laughs> You feel like you can make a mess in the house and it's not too precious. It's eclectic. It doesn't take itself too serious. I just think it's really over the top and hideous. A swan themed bathroom. <laughs> the house is the perfect canvas for me to express what I want to be doing. Shall I put a chicken on the table? gonna jump. <laughs> we'll finish this house, live here for a few years, do lots of karaoke and then move to a farm.